When we were younger, you started all with the look you gave. I spread over and over among us. When we were younger, when we were younger, I had in mind to keep an eye. Won't you fill the room without a whisper? When we were younger. This is for you. <laughs> no. <laughs> I bought it. Why are you crying like that? Well, it's the hanky, so you can use it. <laughs> you got them. Tears on your face. Yeah, read it out loud for Grandma. It says, Mom. Thank you for being the best mother a girl could ask for and always making my dreams come true, including today. I cherish you more than you know. I love you, Savannah. Dad, thank you for walking. I can't <laughs> walking by my side, not only today, but always. And as you give me away, know that I will always be your little girl. I love you too. You like it? I like it. Okay. Can I you blow can my nose in it? <laughs> yeah, blow my nose. Yeah. Dear Savannah, looking forward to our wedding day. I can only imagine the wide-ranging emotions we are both experiencing. I can guarantee I am a nervous wreck without having you right next to me as I am accustomed to. If I could tell you one thing, it would be that everything will work out in the end as it always has for us. Going into our future together, I make a promise to you that I will seek to prevent those tears <laughs> as adamantly as seeking out the smiles. When I think about our future we will have together, can't help but wait and smile with great anticipation. Marcus, it's hard to believe that today is finally here. Words cannot describe how excited I am to become your wife. I often think of our journey as a road winding up a large mountain, an adventure of sorts. It's not always an easy road, but it definitely has a beautiful view. My vow to you is to continue on this road with you each and every day, no matter how difficult. You have been and forever will be my greatest adventure. I love you and can't wait to marry you today. Your soon wife, Savannah. I love you. I love you too. When we were younger, we'd sit around to see your point of view. What you give an inch and take some more there When we were younger Still I had my breath and Like it was my last one But you still it right in front of us You still it right in front of us I could have saw you for the first time Hi Marcus. Hi Marcus. Take you Savannah. 
Take you, Savannah. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and health. To love you and to honor you. To love and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. <laughs> I, Savannah. I, Savannah. Take you, Marcus. Take you, Marcus. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. You may now kiss the bride. blessed to be her maid of honor and her best friend. Um, I never, never have and will never have another friend like Savannah. Um, she quickly turned into one of the most important people in my life and will be forever. Marcus and Savannah have been together eight years and have been through some of life's biggest events together. Uh, this time has prepared them to stand together, not only on this day, but in their life. They are strong in their faith, supportive of each other, and without a doubt are ready for this journey called life. I met Marcus back at Iowa Central um, and there were some good times with him. He was quiet and seemed focused, uh, didn't talk much. I never knew what he preferred uh, because he always had one sentence, or one word for, for a response. Hey Marcus, you like that? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but whenever he spoke about Savannah, it always warmed my heart because that was probably the most expressive I've ever seen Marcus. About 21 years ago, Savannah and Nicole were little flower girls for my sister Julie and Luke. Savannah had a um, little fit. Pretty much all day, she did not want to wear her shoes. So Connie and I fought her and fought her and fought her, put her shoes on, then she'd come and sit beside us, kick her shoes off, and as everybody alluded to, her smile. She would look at us and smile so big as if, hey, don't worry, it's okay, I'll smile at you and everything's all better. So it was nice to hear that you guys also seen that in Savannah. Um, so Marcus, you probably know after eight years that she uses the smile to her advantage. So good luck, good luck. Hopefully it works for you. <laughs> Go out and see 
you can find me the most money for the couple. Go!